Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking to you about a lot of the rumors that have been going about around about iOS 5 or the next version, the next major version of Apple's operating system for iPhones and iPod Touches. Uh, hopefully they're going to be announcing it at WDC. That's the pattern they've been following, WWDC, that's the pattern they've been following for the past four years along with the new iPhones once a year at WWDC. I believe it's this Monday, so we'll be looking forward to that, and I'm just going to be going over a lot of the rumors that have been flying around. Now, obviously, since it's so soon, there are going to be a lot of rumors, so this is just going to be a roundup of the major ones. So, this isn't so much a rumor, but yesterday, Apple announced a uh, press release talking a little bit about what they're going to be pre uh, previewing at WWDC. They talked about iCloud, which is their new cloud computing service. No one is really sure what that is yet, but it's going to be called iCloud. And then obviously they're going to be talking about Mac OS X Lion, which was previewed a while ago, and the next version of Apple's advanced mobile operating system, which powers the iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch. One thing that people were looking for that they didn't actually talk about in this press release was new hardware for the iPhone. A lot of people are taking this to mean that there actually won't be any new iPhone and we'll have to wait another year or at least another few months for a iPhone 5 or iPhone 4S, but just because they didn't talk about it in the press release does not mean that they aren't going to be announcing it. It could just mean that it's going to be a minor upgrade without a whole lot. Now one of the rumors that I've been seeing a lot recently is about a notification system upgrade. One of the people that pretty much unanimously agree is that the push notification system for iPhones sucks. It's spotty, it doesn't always give you the right notifications, sometimes it waits a long time, and so people are looking and it has a bad UI, so people are looking for a new revamped notification system. The person that made no Mobile Notifier sort of took a mysterious leave a while ago with a sort of cryptic note, and the way it was worded led a lot of people to believe that he was going to work at Apple. And if he does, he was probably in a team that is going to be working on a new notification system that will probably be announced with iOS 5. Now this is all speculation, obviously no one knows for sure, but the evidence is pretty convincing with him taking his leave and the note and what he said in the note. We made a video on it or a post on it a while back, you can go and check that out. And another sort of smaller rumor is about this social integration. So what this would mean is that in the Photos app you would have an option to upload your photos directly to Twitter or Facebook. Now I haven't heard a whole lot of that, but TechCrunch is reporting that their sources are telling them that this will be a feature, and if so, I think it'll be great because seamless integration is something that iOS does really well when they see a service or something that they want to incorporate and it doesn't necessarily have to be in another app. And lastly, we have widgets. So widgets is something that are available on phones like Android and some tweaks have been coming out for jailbroken devices that involve widgets. Now there isn't a whole lot of evidence to back this one up, but a lot of people are hoping that Apple will bring default widget support to the iPhone. What this would mean is they're basically single purpose applications like a Facebook news feed that would just appear right at your home screen mixed in with all the springboard icons. So like I said, there isn't actually a whole lot of info to back this one up. It's just a rumor that they might be announcing something like this. But those are the main rumors that people have been talking about. If you have anything that you're hoping to see in the new version of iOS 5 or anything you uh, have a question about, be sure to leave a comment down below. But that's all we have for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.